Hey, it's Ozzy, and I just wanted to quickly shoot this video to inform you guys about the group that I hope to launch at The Reach, May 12th, called the Justice Alliance. It's a product of some research that I've been doing for the past few months at UIC in an ASP course, uh, which is an independent research course at UIC. Um, so pretty much the backstory is in um, January 1st, 2012, I went to The Reach with Pastor Mark Job and Josiah, and uh, they pretty much introduced the fact that human trafficking is existing, not just overseas, but in the United States as well. Um, and I just had a question, I just thought to myself, I wonder if it's happening in Chicago. Uh, it's a world-class city, I've never really seen it before, I mean, and I'm in the city, I'm like right there in the heart of the city and I think to myself I would have seen it I would have spotted it but I'm just curious so what, what you see behind me is actually a poster of the research that I did um, what you can see even from the title obviously uh, the title is sex trafficking alive and well in Chicago and it pretty much covers the um, the way that the media outlets are talking about the issue so my research objective was to examine how Chicago media outlets are discuss discussing human trafficking within city borders and so pretty much what I found out was that the newspaper outlets were not really educating the public on the topic of human sex trafficking and it is very much alive and active in the city of Chicago um, because of the <clears throat> the activity that was discovered by the state's attorney Anita Alvarez she had run a 18th month sting operation entitled Operation Little Lost Girl where they had arrested nine alleged uh, sex traffickers um, and the undercover agents gave eyewitness testimony to what they had seen and it was very disturbing uh, young girls as, as 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 young as 12 years old were raped repeatedly um, and sold for sex and so it, it just broke my heart when I started discovering this research and I knew I had to do something so my solution was to share my information with other students on campus and see if I can start an organization um, but I needed an e-board, I needed a constitution, there's a lot of things that needed to happen before that um, so I got some people together who are dedicated and committed and we said you know what we want to do something we want to see justice brought to these um, to these sex traffickers and ultimately it's biblical as well uh, in Proverbs 31 let me grab it for you right quick can I grab this please Sorry, I, I feel like I really need to share this with you because as much as it is a social justice issue that needs to be covered, it's also a biblical one and uh, the Bible supports it as I was just reading one day and, and, and it, it just got drawn out to me because of the whole research that I had been doing along with just what God was putting on my heart. So in Proverbs 31, what we read is uh, in verse 8 it says, Speak up for those who can't speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and the needy. When I read that, I, I thought of the victims uh, of the sex trafficking industry, and uh, I realized that it's our job as Christians to give a voice to them, to make sure that although God is going to be the ultimate judge, that we have to give a voice to these who are poor and needy because those are the circumstances that even draw them into the uh, illicit sex trade industry. Um, so pretty much what the Justice Alliance would do is combine um, public awareness along with media, uh, creativity, and uh, political and legal action uh, to make sure that justice is brought to the sex traffickers and making sure that restoration happens for its victims. Um, I can give you more details, uh, but I do know that um, we, we, we now have a full e-board team for the Justice Alliance that are signed up and ready to go um, to start combating this issue and to start making sure that the public is aware that sex trafficking is modern day slavery and that it does exist in the city of Chicago and if we don't act it will prevail over justice time and time again and then one day we'll wake up and realize that it's it is um, gone out of control and the people who are doing it would have pretty much 
found their ways to be uh, to be deceptive and to keep it un to keep it a secret, and it'll make it that much harder and to make it that much longer to, to bring justice to these people. So uh, we plan to go out in faith and see where God takes this, um, and to see how the youth of this generation can be creative in combating uh, modern day social justice issues. Thank you.